Custody Readers, it's Shannon. I have a huge book haul for you today. I had no idea I gathered this many books throughout the month of March. I had no clue and there's a lot. I think there's like a little over 20. <laughs> but a lot of them I bought with, you know, birthday money or gift cards, that sort of stuff. So I didn't spend, you know, a ton of my own money, but I still, um. Pause the video. Go make a cup of tea or coffee or grab some water. I have water because I think I'm going to need energy for this. <laughs> and a snack and just sit tight. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long one, guys. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a long one. First, I'm going to show you the books that I ordered from Amazon. I had, I got a $50 Amazon gift card for my birthday. So I'll show you the one, two, three, four, five books I got with that. The first ones are Hopeless and Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover. I've already read Hopeless, loved it, loved it. it I read it this month, so I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. This is from the point of view of uh, Skye, who's the female protagonist, and this one, Losing Hope, is from the point of view of Holder, who is the male protagonist. I haven't read this one yet because it's the same story, just, you know, from his perspective, so I'm going to leave some space in between reading these, but oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> the next one I ordered from Amazon, I got because Lisa from Blonde Book Bee had it, and she was, like, posting it all over Instagram and Twitter, and I was like, oh my god. I need it and it's Lost in Austin by Emma Campbell Webster and you basically get to create your own Jane Austen adventure. <gasps> what? You choose like what you would do in a certain scenario and then it tells you like what your fate would be at the end and oh, I'm so excited. If I don't end up with Darcy though I might throw it out. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but I better end up with Darcy. <laughs> The next book I got from Amazon is The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. This is the first in a completed trilogy now, I think. All the all three books are out. I can't wait to get to this. Kayla from Book of Doodles talks about this all the time. It's one of her favorite trilogies, and uh, I really need to read it. She's gotten a bunch of other people to read it, and they all love it. That's why I got it. So I'm really, really excited to read this. I think it's about this girl, and she's engaged to be married to a king that she doesn't want to marry. You should look it up online so that it can explain it better to you than I can. Okay. And then the fifth and final book I got from Amazon is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the, is it the Geisha trilogy thing? Um, but this is the second one after Shadow and Bone. And the third one, Ruin and Rising, comes out very soon. This year, definitely. Uh, I can't wait to get into this. A lot of people love this series. I've also heard... Some people are like, meh, but I think I'm really going to like it. I can't wait to get to it, and that's why I bought it, so there's that one. <laughs> I had three trips to Barnes & Noble this month. The first one, I went crazy. I had two Barnes & Noble gift cards, and I also had some cash for my birthday, so I kind of just bought a whole bunch of hardcovers, and I bought a whole bunch of new releases, and I'm really excited about the stack of books I'm about to show you. I went in on March 4th, which was a Tuesday, which is like the release date for, you know, young adult books, and I bought so many! <laughs> so I'm just going to show you those right now. A lot of them were also released on March 4th, so they're like brand new. One of those is The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski, and this sounds amazing. I first heard about this um, on Jillian's channel, Bookish and Nerdy, and she's been talking about this forever. I know she's already read it. She really liked it. It's the first in a new trilogy, I believe, and I can't wait to read it. It's about this girl. She's a general's daughter. Her name is Kestrel, and she has two choices. She can join the military or get married, but she doesn't want to do that. And one day, she sees this slave, and he's up for auction, and she just sees something in his eyes, and she buys him, and, uh, they're, they, she ends up falling for him, and I can't wait to read this. It sounds so good. Again, I wish I could explain these better. The next book was not a new release on March 4th, but I saw it there, and I was like, this is mine. And it's called Catch Up Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher. And first of all, how freaking amazing is the title of this book? This one is about a girl named Zoe, and she is pen pals with Stuart Harris who is a Texas death row inmate and a convicted murderer but Zoe has a you know story too she fell for two boys she betrayed one of them and killed the other and it's all about their letters back and forth and how she comes to terms with what she did I I don't know 
anything else about it. It sounds really interesting and there's a ton of praise for it on the back and I'm really excited to read it. It sounds phenomenal and it's really short too so that's a plus. <laughs> the next book was released on March 4th and this is Dangerous by Shannon Hale. Shannon Hale it has been one of my favorite authors since I was in middle school. I read all of her middle grade books. I have read her adult book Austin Land and this is her new young adult book. It sounds amazing. It's about this girl named Macy who gets a spot in like this NASA like summer boot camp and she discovers this conspiracy that could like change everything and like ruin things. And she also falls in love and you know there's all that fun stuff and if you know who James Dashner is he's the author of The Maze Runner. He has a little snippet on the back and he says one of the best books I've ever read ever. It's chock full of intrigue, suspense, and clever authentic wonderful humor. I'm in love with this book. So I mean from one, an author that I already know I love and other authors on the back like just praising it. I can't wait to read this one. It sounds great. The next book I got I believe was also released on March 4th. I haven't heard many people talk about it but I picked it up because I thought it sounded really interesting and I'm a sucker for a survival story and this is called I think maybe it's pronounced Nil by Lynn Matson. This is about a girl named Charlie and she the last thing she remembers is that she blacked out. She wakes up in this place. That she, I mean it's like an island I am assuming. She has no idea where she is, doesn't know what happened. Then she just she finds all these other people her age on the island as well and they basically tell her that you know you get 365 days to escape and if you don't do it by the time that those all those days are up then you die. And this sounds so interesting and really good. I can't wait to read it. And the cover is really cool. Like, um, it has like little, those little countdown scratch marks all throughout. It looks like they're just up here, but they're also all to the bottom. It's a really cool cover. The next book I got on March 4th, which I think this came out February 4th, but I hadn't read the first two yet, but I got Crest by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles trilogy. I read this this month too. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up, but I'm pretty sure if you've watched any of my past few videos, you know I loved it. Oh my god, it's so good. And it, I, it's so good. I just want so just, that's all I'm going to say about that. The next book I got was released that day, and it's Panic by Lauren Oliver. Again, if you watch any of my past couple of videos, you kind of know that I'm not the biggest fan of this, and I'm really disappointed because I was really, really looking forward to it. But you know what? I've never really been the biggest fan of Lauren Oliver and her writing. But, I mean, that's just me. You know, that happens to everybody. I got halfway through. I loved the concept of it. I, If I ever do finish it, I hope I like the ending, and that, like, turns it around for me. The other book I got that day is not a hardcover. It was not released that day. But it's a sequel that I needed, and it is Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. This is another one that I started this month, and I still haven't finished just because I'm in the worst reading slump of my life. <laughs> I can't handle it. I got this because I loved the first one. The Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and I want to read this because the third one comes out next month, I think. But yeah, so this was the last one that I got at Barnes & Noble that day. Now, what to do? <laughs> I'm going to show you the ones that were sent to me. So first, I'll start with the one that I won in a giveaway. I won the giveaway from Sarah Churchill's channel. She was celebrating 5,000 subscribers, and she did an amazing giveaway. She was giving away a couple books and a couple of, like, necklaces, and oh, she's just so great. This is, like, the, I can't I can't believe I won another giveaway. It's honestly ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But the book that I got is really by Emma Donahue. I've heard like just amazing things about this. It's about this little boy Jack and he's five and he just he lives in this single little room with his mom. It really sounds amazing and I can't wait to read this. Thank you so much Sarah and congratulations on I think you now have 6,000 right? That's so awesome! Congratulations! Next book I had sent to me was um, another one from Penguin. If you watch my last book haul, I got like a huge box of books from Penguin. This one came a little late and it is called The Inventor's Secret by Andrea Kramer. Uh, this cover is really cool. It's like this dragonfly made out of knives and then there's like an explosion. I don't even know. And this is not released until April 22nd, so this is not out yet. There's a, a really cool description on my computer that I'm going to read to you really quick because it just makes it sound so awesome. Alright, it says, The Inventor's Secret is the first book of YA steampunk series set in an alternate 19th century North America where the Revolutionary War never took place and the British Empire has expanded into a global... <laughs> That's a funny word. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Juggernaut. Propelled by marvelous and horrible machinery. Perfect for fans of Libba Ray's The Diviners, Cassandra Clare's Clockwork Angels, Scott Westerfeld's Leviathan, and Philip Reeves' Mortal Engines. So, this is, sounds really good. Definitely look it up on Amazon or Goodreads or whatever if you're interested. This next book I was sent, I actually received in the mail a half hour ago, so it was perfect, perfect timing. And it is Talented, and this is the first in a series by Sophie Davis, who is an indie author, and I was contacted on Goodreads by her personal assistant named 
named Justine, huh? And she was like, oh my god, well, we're doing this big blogger event and uh, if you review the first book in her series, you can be entered to win Kindle Fire's $50 Amazon gift cards and a paperback set for her whole first series. And anyone who participates with the review is entered to win two of each of the prizes, one for themselves and one for one of their followers. You guys! What if we win and what if I get a Kindle and you get a Kindle or I get a gift card and you get a gift card and oh I'm just so excited. Is this not the coolest thing ever? Justine was so sweet she emailed me a bunch of times. She's also sending books for my African Library project and Sophie like wrote this cute note and she just signed things and she signed the book and it says for Shannon Embrace your talents, Sophie Davis. And she wanted me to tell you in this little note that the ebook version of this is free on all sites. So if you're interested, it's it says if James Bond and Suki Stackhouse from the True Blood series had a love child with a yearning for vengeance, her story would be talented. So doesn't that sound awesome? So if you want it, it's free on ebook, and I'm gonna review it so that we might win stuff. Me and you. Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, so those are all the ones that were sent to me. Yep, there's more. Please, I'm sorry, it's gonna be so long. I watch this little boy once a week and he goes to this class and there's a bookstore nearby and I shopped. I picked up four books. The first one I got is Slated by Terry Terry. I've heard a few things about this on booktube, not too too much, but it sounds really great. It's about this girl named Kyla and her memory has been slated because the government thinks she's a terrorist, I think. I think actually it's a trilogy and I think all three books are out right now. This is the only one that was there. But this sounds really good. I can't wait to read it. I think it'll be a quick read. Next books I got there, I got a complete trilogy while I was there, which is so exciting because I can just fly through it. And it is, I think it's called the Enclave Trilogy. Am I wrong? Is this even the first book? This doesn't have the numbers on the side, so who the heck knows. I believe this is the first one. Enclave. Outpost and Horde. This book centers on a girl named Deuce who, uh, she, when you turn 15 in their world, you have to either be a breeder, a builder, or a hunter. And she wants to be a huntress and she wants to go out and brave all the danger and do all this crazy dangerous stuff. It's a dystopian world. It sounds really good and I have all three of them now so I can just fly through them hopefully and I hope I like them too. Oh my god, guess what? There's only two books left. So today I went to Barnes & Noble with my sister because what else do I do really? And I got two books. I only went uh, to get one and I'll show you that right now. And it is Side Effects May Vary by Julie Murphy. And this was released today. Uh, so that's why I went to get it because this sounds just so good. It's about this girl named Alice who I believe is 16 and she finds out she has terminal cancer and that she's going to die and she has her best friend Harvey help her out with her bucket list and you know tell all these people things she would have never told them if she was gonna you know live and do all these things she would have never done and then just when she you know completes a whole bunch of those things she finds out that she's in remission and that she's gonna live and then it's all about how she has to live with the consequences of what she said it's kind of like a backwards opposite version of a lot of young adult cancer stories and I can't wait to read it I hope it has like a more positive ending than a lot of other uh, um, books like this do, and I'm really excited to read it. I've heard really good things about it. And the other book is called Fire and Flood, and it's by Victoria Scott. I wasn't even going to buy this, but I picked it up and I read the flap, and I just was like, well, I'm going to buy it, because it sounds amazing. I'll read the flap to you so you know what I'm talking about. Tella Holloway is losing it. Her brother is sick, and when a dozen doctors can't determine what's wrong, her parents decide to move to the middle of nowhere for the fresh air. She's lost her friends, her parents are driving her crazy, her brother is dying, and she's helpless to change anything. Until she receives mysterious instructions on how to become a contender in the brimstone bleed. It's an epic race across jungle, desert, sea, and mountain that could win her the prize she desperately desires. The cure for her brother's illness. But all the contenders are after the cure for people that they love, and there's no guarantee that Tella or any of them will survive the race. The jungle is terrifying, the clock is ticking, and Tella knows she can't trust the allies she makes. And one big question emerges, why have so many fallen sick in the first place? Um, <laughs> I don't know, but I want to find out because, does that sound amazing or what? I feel like it's kind of like a mix of, like, the Hunger Games and, like, something else. I don't know, it sounds so good! So those are all my books for my March book haul. Can you believe how many there were? Oh my god. So let me know if you bought any of the new releases or if you've read them already or if you've read any of the other ones. Let me know because I really want to know if any of these are any good. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hi, I love you, Ellen. My phone went off. <laughs> and I'll see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!